here, but you know what? There's a lot worse stuff going on in the world out there, for sure, right? But yeah, we're not impressed with what's happening here because we can see the creeping of the agenda through our good people that come from communist countries. That being said, a man who decides to not wear a Canadian flag on his back is dressed up a little bit warmly today. He's got different different layers on, and his name is Winston. You might have seen this gentleman come here before. He's a reincarnation of a man that comes here. Oh, hold on, hold on. This man comes to us from across the water with a message of wisdom, I see. Put your hands together for our good friend Winston here. Hands together! Thank you, my good man, Lamont. Good day, my beautiful supporters in freedom. I, I dare say it is cold enough today to freeze Justin Trudeau's bank account, is it not? Some of you people have already fled communist countries, such as our friend from China. Some of you may be from places like Poland and Czechoslovakia. Romania. Romania. I met a beautiful Romanian man in Ottawa who had fled. He was a trucker. He said he would not leave until they were done, until it was done. He outlasted Ceausescu and it was quite inspiring because all of you must now outlast Trudeau. Your Prime Minister at the time of World War II was a man named Mackenzie King. William Lyon Mackenzie King. Today, there is a man sitting in jail who has been the Prime Minister of the Peterbilts and the Minister of the Trucks. His name is Pat King, another king. Could we have a round of applause for Pat King? Could you all call your parliamentarians and ask for his freedom? This is important. If you don't, no one else will. What about the other people that are being held too, right? We gotta free them, right? We have other people. Right. We have we have people who have suffered indeed. Yes, we have. Due to the agenda of the filthy few, the powers that should not be. Our leadership has lost its moral compass. Their compass needle has been replaced by a needle from Pfizer and Moderna. The Pfizer reports are now out. If you have not seen them or shared them with your unawake friends, they are irrefutable proof of the deadly damage being done. It cannot be argued with. These are from the source themselves, from Pfizer. Deception, propaganda, and outright lies are part of any war. For in war, truth is the first casualty. My Canadian friends, I'm going to tell you that there has been a great deception placed upon all of you, and it began in Ottawa. The very imagery of it was quite shocking. We were all shocked into believing something, shocked into believing that this country needed laws for terrorism. Yet we did not have any real terrorists. I happened to meet some veterans who were shoveling at the war memorial. They took great pride in clearing the snow. Then one of them took me aside and shared that we'd been blizzarded, blanketed with another snow job from Ottawa. What we once saw as a shooting at the Ottawa Monument and a shooting inside of our Parliament is now proving to be a falsehood. And as despicable as that may sound to you, ladies and gentlemen, there is not one bullet mark in the hallway corridors. Subsequently, Bill C-51 was created. 
This bill enabled our government in Canada to seize bank accounts, to arrest people, to surveil people, to do all the things that are being done to you now. This happened, this incident in Ottawa happened in 2014, eight years ago. Might I remind you all that it took just about that long for a person named Adolf Hitler to come to power. Ladies and gentlemen, I would ask you to look closely and watch closely as the evidence of the fraud surrounding Bill C-51 unfolds. I am about to bring up a gentleman who is going to speak to you about another great fraud, one that you all have evidence of in your wallet, yes, in your wallet or wherever you keep your personal papers, the fraud of your birth certificate. Before I do, I wish to say to you all, Keep up the good fight, fight the good fight, and remember, in the words of my two favorite Never British apostles, Never John and Paul, all you need is love. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Christopher James. Yeah. Thanks, brother. 